This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Simon Gua Gora? Gudaba. <laughs> Gudaba. Yeah, sorry. I can't say his last name. And Portia Williams. They're from Atlanta Housewives or what or something. She's saying, oh, he was, he's worth $300 million. How? He doesn't even say what he's like. He would be on Forbes or something. You know, like you would know what he did. <clears throat> how did he get it? Who knows? But how would she even know? You didn't look at his accounts, you know? She's just saying exorbitant numbers so they look into how much he's worth. I'm going to be honest with you. This guy must have made, might have made the biggest mistake of his life, okay, going on this show. Because now they're going to really look into his life. And he might go to jail for something, you know? Like, let's just be honest. It's possible. This guy, Because when things don't make sense, right? When things make sense, everything's fine. When things just don't make sense, it's like, eh, something else is going on there. I don't care who you are, you know? I don't care who you are. Uh, remember that? What was the other the that white couple that was on Atlanta Housewives and they looked into their life more because they were getting through a divorce and everything? I think one of them ended up going to jail or something. He was like a football player. Something happened. It was just like it's just not good going on these shows, especially if you're not living an up and up life. You know. DJ Envy offers advice on. Cardi B and offsets, but now some would say this is dumb to get advice from DJ Envy because he's his his uh, you know he, he almost tarnished his marriage, but maybe it's the best person to get advice from because he recovered his marriage. I think his wife just wanted to stay because even though he cheated, because you know. You had all these kids together. You guys started from the beginning. I think they've been dating since high school. And, you know, they just made it to work out. Now, Offset and Cardi B, I think they'll <clears throat> I think they'll always be together. I think Cardi B likes a little drama in her relationship. Um, she says she's dropping her album still. No date, though. I don't think it's dropping this year, I'm going to be honest with you. Probably early next year. But... You know, DJ Envy, ever since this scam stuff came out, I look more into these podcasts and everything, and a lot of them have these, they don't care. They'll just take the money. They don't care that you get robbed of your money afterwards. They have these scammers up there, a lot of these podcasts and, and radio shows. Oh, I, I, I was in jail for this, and now I'm doing this. And this like a red flag, bro. A lot of these guys will take your money. I don't know if you've, have you ever had someone take your money, your hard earned money and promise you something and you don't get it back? I, I had that with a car dealer once. Some guy was like, oh, I got the hook up with this car guy. Why? I and it, Trust me, I was young. Okay. I was very young. It was in my early 20s. And I didn't know no better. Now I would never go to anybody that's not a, a, an official car dealer. Or, and you can still get ripped off there, or like a CarMax or like an official car dealership, like a BMW dealership or whatever, you know? Because there's too much risk of getting ripped off, right? And this guy ran off with my money and he was a pastor. He was a car guy on the side and he was a pastor. Still never saw that money. $5,000. But, uh, Scam, that's the worst feeling in the world to get scammed like that, you know? It's the worst. Oh, man. Dame Dash. You can't really feel bad for him on this one. He did business with these these uh, guys for his uh, the movie. He redid the same movie because he had a fallout with the producers. And, you know, he treated them like crap i mean you can see in that he put out his own footage of him talking to them and everything it's just it's just you can't treat people like that i mean he must be hard to work for bro <laughs> like i'm gonna be honest like dame dash is inspiring and there's a reason why he got a lot done he wouldn't take no for an answer and that's why jay-z has the career he has today dame dash got him through the door but 
Dame Dash also became hard to work with, and Jay-Z wanted to get away from him so bad he was willing to backstab him to get away from him. And he did, he backstabbed him. He actually might have made Jay-Z the guy he is today. He might have made Jay-Z the savage he is today. Because he was so desperate to get away from Dame Dash. I like Dame Dash. There's a lot of there's a lot to like. And there's some not to some things not to like. But I don't think he ever had Rockefeller records to sell after this court case. I think it was always going to go for auction. And it might even be a backdoor deal. Which you never know. Jay-Z has a lot of power, you know. It might be forced to go that way so Jay-Z can buy his uh, third back. I wouldn't be surprised if he bought the other third from, Dan- uh, from Burke after this. And just own the whole thing himself. Why not? He has the money, right? Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.